What is going on ladies and gentlemen, I usually don't make videos like this, I usually don't even make videos on this channel. Um, I am coming to you today as not a content creator, but as the owner and one of the big leaders of the Smidwinders. Now, this is nothing too important. Well, it is important, but it's nothing too serious. There's not going to be life changes. Uh, we're not kicking anybody. We're only... Just hear me out. First off, to really be able to explain what I want to do, I have to give you kind of an origin story. The origin of the Smidwinders started back when me and Thomas, aka Jugs, way back in the day with our friend Will, um, otherwise we refer to him sometimes as Timmy, I don't really remember what the name was, but we all decided we wanted to make a group YouTube channel. I was the one that was really getting into YouTube, Thomas was just starting to get into it, and Will was interested in it. So we were all going to start, and it all started with, I do believe, the very first channel was called the people's militia um which really really had to have a name change because it turns out that there is a terrorist group also called the people's militia so we uh i put the cork in it right there so then basically what that was that was just a group of us all recording games and posting together while i don't it was basically the same thing as we have here thomas posts all the time as i sit there and i post on my main channel and so Will never ended up posting, and he ended up just saying, you know what, you guys do what you ever want to do. Um, I'll, I'll post on there if I want to, but don't expect me to. So really, he's not a part of this anymore, even though he's welcome on any time. But um, then it shifted into just me and Thomas running things. And me and Thomas, it just turned into a major collab channel, how me and him were just going to sit there and record videos together. The videos that we were in together wouldn't go up on any of our, one of our channels. It would just go up... Uh, on the Smidwinders. Well, it was before the Smidwinders. It was uh, called the Gaming Gamers, I do believe, before the Smidwinders. And then it turned out there was names taken, so then I changed it. I came up with a completely original name, the Smidwinders. It means absolutely nothing. I just made it up. So then, finally, now we are where we are today. And this was some years ago. Um, I have a couple videos on YouTube on on this channel that it's old you could really see how much we have changed that's why i haven't removed them but i am going to do an update video the most cringy one i have to say is i have an issue i have a slight form of dyslexia so i have an issue reading scripts live i have to really memorize one and i actually wrote a script for a video and it was how to be better at youtube i mean it was good advice uh it was good advice to get started but it was just really cringy because i can't read right so i was sitting there stuttering over my words i take long pauses was before i really had the patience to really go through and edit my audio like there's a lot of ums and ahs in this already and we're only three minutes in to this commentary and you guys won't even hear them, most of them because i'm going to cut them out i'm going to spend some time editing my audio but then, you know, we decided this was going to be a gaming channel. We always, me and Thomas have always just wanted to do gaming. So, and because it was just me and him, that's how it was going to work out. And then we started bringing more people on. And, well, Thomas ended up not wanting to post gaming videos anymore because he didn't want to sit there and record with his phone. Which is really understandable because he never had a tripod or an actual camera. So he had to always jerry-rig, do this weird ghetto setup, as I call it. And try to get the best angles, and it just wasn't working. I will, uh, he wasn't happy, I wasn't happy with the quality videos he was able to produce, because it just wasn't that good. So he decided he was going to switch over to vlogs, and then we had an issue a long time ago where I didn't want vlogs. And why didn't I want vlogs? It was for some reason I had it in my head that this was a gaming channel. The, we do not want vlogs, this is gaming, 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 gaming. It's we want to build a gaming name for ourselves, we can't be making vlogs. Well, then that changed a couple of years ago. Well, I guess it wasn't a couple of years ago. It was probably more like just last year, maybe a year and a half, give or take a few days. But it's really, ever since then, he's still just been posting vlogs, which has been cool. But we still have the stipulation of a gaming channel. I mean, every vlog he makes is about gaming. Now, that is partially because of his choice, but now he's starting to do other things on his personal channel. And it really got me thinking. I want to be able to brand as much as I can with this and right now we are very restricted I was watching I know uh, people that watch my own personal channel or even you guys know here from my personal channel I guess you know I'm a big TK fan and cost of TK just released a video last night about TK's hardships TK is my favorite esports team they're my favorite COD team to watch I watch them every time they play and so I was interested in know their hardships, just because I, we're trying to build an organization here, not to play competitive Call of Duty, but we're trying to just build a general organization. And he said something along the lines 
um, I'm paraphrasing here, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description, he said something along the lines of this is the one thing that we had going on for us and a lot of people still give him crap for it. Um, TK is not a competitive esports team, it is a team with a competitive esports division. He said he's focusing on just team dynamic, he's focusing on the people, he's focusing on getting people um, not even big. The, the thing with TK, I want to get a lot of judgment for it. And the reason why I think it's better than FaZe and Optic, Envy, all these different people, um, not really Soar. Soar's kind of in the same boat with them. But it's because you don't have to have a minimum of like 100,000 subscribers. You don't have to have a minimum of two freaking play buttons just to be able to be in their teams. If you want to get recruited into FaZe, you best have a million subs because FaZe is definitely, you have to be a one for one. Same with Optic Gaming. Well, Optic Gaming's kind of closed unless you're trying to be in the esports team, and then that esports team is way different league to try to get into than what we're all used to seeing. So, what he said is that we're just trying to bring on people, we're trying to create a dynamic, and he said one of the biggest risks he ever took was a couple years ago when he decided to not have a competitive team house because their very first team house was just a whole bunch of competitive people. Of course, Costa lived there. He's not a competitive player, but he owns the team. So he lived there while creating videos, but now they moved to New York, and then they decided to bring on content creators, and he got a lot of flack for that, not bringing in a whole competitive squad that he brought in content creators, and it turned out to be one of the best things ever done. And I've always had this vision of the Smedwinders. Now, I know we're not big, and that's one issue. We have to get somewhere first, but this is a time for extreme change to really get some new people and anchor them in because like me and Thomas we're not going to go anywhere Thomas is a 50% owner uh, not owner but leader and I am just the owner of this channel so in this brand but basically what is going on I'm wanting this is a call out I want people to come on in no matter what you create I'm releasing the chains. I don't want a just gaming channel. I want a channel. I want people to say that, yeah, I'm a part of this, and we do this videos. I do that type of videos. And I think it'd be really cool, because then we can get a very diverse amount of content on this channel, and even just a diverse amount of content during, throughout the group. But, yeah, I really don't know what else to say. That's kind of what my point is. But I really just want people to realize that this is no longer just a gaming channel so hopefully you'll be able to see some new content because I'm hoping I'm talking to some people um, hopefully they'll come on and post stuff but no promises it's personal friends there's only one personal friend that I've actually gotten to post YouTube videos and that is Thomas himself the rest of them always back out so no promises but this is an interesting time for you as the viewer if you are looking into content creation and you have zero subs we have hundred and seventy something subs here um, which isn't a lot I know and I have 209 on my main channel which isn't a lot I know but I'm trying to be able to set up for the future. Hopefully, the thing is with YouTube, a lot of people don't realize, and some things Thomas doesn't even realize. Um, I'm not throwing shade, but he always tells me I take too much of a business standpoint for, you know, these channels, which sometimes I do. But the thing is, it's YouTube. You can seriously go to bed one day with 10 subscribers and wake up the next day with 100,000. You have to prepare for that unlikely event that you will just blow up out of nowhere because every time someone slowly gradually you will always have a gradual incline in increase in subs and views if you keep at it you will always have that gradual increase but you will not get there you know you will not be able to make a living off YouTube by that gradual increase there will be a point where you just get a ton of subscribers and a ton of viewers finding your channel all at once because you did something right so guys, what is my what am I saying? The end what's the summary here? I'm saying that I want people, I want new people. I'm not kicking anybody that's previously a part of our little crew here, but I want new people to bring on. Um, so if you are interested in looking at joining up on the Smidwinders, go into the description, you will see the email I want you to go email me to, and we could talk about it. Um, or you can follow me on Twitter. My DMs are open, so you can just talk to me about it there. Um, what we'll do is we'll start off uh, by you sending in some videos, and um, 
you can, we'll post it or you send me an unlisted link. That's how usually I want it to work. You just sent me an unlisted link on like Twitter or something. Say, hey, can you check this out? You don't even have to want to post to the Sminwire. You don't, you, you don't even have to be a part, want to be a part of us. But if you want a video posted, just send me a link to your YouTube video in my Twitter or the email I'm going to provide. I don't check the email as much as I do my Twitter. So definitely I recommend the Twitter or tweet it at me. Do something with the link and make sure it's an unlisted video so I can check it out and everything. And I will post it to the Smidwinders. I really don't care. Um, it could be literally anything. You could be, a, it doesn't matter. You could be a girl trans, a gay guy, a furry, a weeaboo, a freaking Apache attack helicopter. I don't care. I just want more people on this channel. It could be a makeup tutorial. It could be anything. I don't care. I want you guys to be able to express your content in any way possible. I'm sorry this video drug on a lot. I had a lot to say. And let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you would like to be a part of our little crew here, it doesn't matter what kind of videos you post, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And make sure to go follow me on Twitter at Kodiak316 and talk to me in the DMs. Or go ahead and check out that email. It'll be in at gmail.com in the description. And I will get to you when we can. Anyway, guys, hope you have a good day. If you have any suggestions, by the way, leave them down in the comment section down below. And all the links are in the description, and I'll catch you all later.